Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis, let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, let's talk about the missing episodes of the classic series. Now, if you're not familiar, between the years of 1963 and 1978, the BBC deleted archives of programming including episodes of Doctor Who. You see, episodes of Doctor Who were made onto two-inch videotape for their initial broadcast, and then telerecorded onto 16 millimeter film for overseas distribution. There was no central archive of episodes, and anything that wasn't able to be distributed or re-aired was just deleted. And then, when color transmissions became a thing, it didn't seem worthwhile to extend the rights on black and white footage. So between the BBC not having the space, not having enough materials, and not wanting to extend the rights to re-air episodes, it just didn't make sense for them to keep them around. So the BBC deleted episodes of Doctor Who and other episodes off of their tapes and then created new episodes on the same tapes essentially saving money. Doctor Who wasn't the only show that this happened to. A lot of broadcasters regularly deleted their backlogs this way. Now, as of today, 97 classic Doctor Who episodes from the first six years of the show are currently missing. So after over 50 years and over 800 episodes, having only 97 missing is fine. Oh, who am I kidding? That is totally not fine. I wish that we had them all. However, Doctor Who is different than those other television shows that we talked about because all 97 episodes still exist somewhat in audio format. And from the 1980s to present day, pieces, parts, and entire episodes that were thought to be lost have been recovered. Since the Who purge of the BBC, over 50 episodes have been recovered. Episodes that we thought were just completely gone for good, they were found, some in very odd places. This being the case of overseas broadcast, private collectors, people who worked on the show, and various other ways. Though with the overseas broadcast, there's no actual record of where Doctor Who was being broadcast all around the world, so finding them that way proves a little more difficult, even though it seems like it should be pretty easy. A discovery in Africa is the reason why the BBC has the second Doctor episodes, Enemy of the World and Web of Fear. As it turns out, nine complete episodes were found in a television relay station in Nigeria by television recovery expert Philip Morris. But that, in and of itself, is its own crazy story. And some of the still missing 97 episodes have these very strange rumors floating around them. Many people seem to think that the BBC has more episodes than they are letting on, and they're just not talking about it or releasing them for whatever reason. One rumor is that a few of the episodes have been recovered, but some of the original cast and crew are demanding a cut, and the BBC isn't releasing them for that reason. Another rumor is that a few of the stories have been recovered, but they are in such awful condition that the BBC refuses to release them. There's even a rumor out there that all 97 Seven episodes have already been recovered, even some thought not to have been finished filming, which I honestly believe is a crazy notion. There are only 97 missing episodes and they are currently being held on the BBC's secret moon base. But over the years, thanks to fans of the show, the BBC has been able to rebuild their archives of Doctor Who. And in recent years, the BBC has refurnished some of these classic clips in very interesting ways. Sometimes using the original audio broadcast, an animated episode can be created. Or if just a clip or scene survived, they could manufacture it in some sort of flashback using the footage. So why are we talking about the missing Doctor Who episodes today? Well, it seems that the BBC may be ready to release a version of Shada, a missing fourth Doctor adventure. After a series of tweets from Doctor Who actor Daniel Hill, it seems to confirm that Shada will be released soon. Shada was originally written by Douglas Adams. Yes, that... Douglas Adams. And Shada was supposed to be the final serial of the 17th season, starring Tom Baker as the Doctor. But the serial was unaired due to a strike. A lot of it was just not filmed. The whole episode just does not exist. There have only ever been bits and pieces of Shada even way back then. The original story was set to be six episodes, but the strike meant that the studio scenes were never filmed, even though the on-location scenes were already finished. In 1982, the existing footage of Shada was released 
released on video with narration by Tom Baker to try to tie the story together. There was even a 2003 audio play remake with Paul McGann voicing the eighth Doctor instead of the fourth Doctor. And then in 2011, there was an unofficial animated version using the 2003 audio drama remake to create the parts that were never filmed. The story involves the planet Shada, where Time Lords send the universe's most dangerous criminals. A villain named Skagra wants to pool the knowledge of the universe's greatest criminals, but the location of Shada is hidden obviously. So if chunks of the adventure were never even filmed, how could the BBC ever even hope to release Shada? Well, like we talked about before, it could be a reconstruction of the original footage in a way that actually makes sense, or it could be an actually official BBC-sanctioned animated adventure. Either way, it seems that Shada is coming our way once again, and I, for one, am pretty excited about it. Though it seems, at the moment, the only way we could possibly hope to have a fully stocked Doctor Who catalog is to have access to a time machine. Machine. In the comments down below, let me know if you're excited about the BBC possibly somehow releasing Shada in some fashion. If you've seen the unofficial animated version, which I will also link down below because it's pretty entertaining. Even though the adventure changed the fourth Doctor to the eighth Doctor, it, it makes sense. As always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.